Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 270. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm Ritwisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Under Government of India Act 1935, Congress contested elections in which year? Correct answer is 1937. So what was the Government of India Act of 1935? This act ended the system of diarchy introduced by the Government of India Act 1919 and provided for establishment of a federation of India to be made up of provinces of British India and some or all of the princely states uh, who ever agreed to join. So uh, the Congress first contested elections based on this act in 1937. At which of the following sessions of Congress, the resolution of Purna Swaraj was passed. So this is a very important one. So it was passed in uh, Lahore session of December 1929. And it was the same session in which Jawaharlal Nehru was elected as the president of Congress. Who among the following is or are credited for founding of the Indian National Congress? Again, a very important question. So option C is correct. Dadabhai Nauroji, A.O. Hume and Dinshaw Adulji Wacha. So, uh, the Indian National Congress is a broadly based political party in India currently. However, when it was founded in 1885, it was the first modern nationalist movement to emerge in the British Empire in Asia and Africa. So, both Asia and Africa combined in whole of the British Empire, Indian National Congress happens to be the uh, first uh, nationalist movement in modern age. Vinoba Bhave was the first person to offer Satyagraha. In which year did he offer individual Satyagraha? Correct answer is 1940. So, Vinayak Narahari Vinoba Bhave was an Indian advocate of non-violence and human rights. Often called Acharya, he is best known for the Bhudan movement. He is considered as a national teacher of India and the spiritual successor of Mohandas Gandhi. Where did Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose establish provisional government of free India? The correct answer is Singapore. So Singapore at that time was occupied by Japan. On 21st October 1943, Subhash Chandra Bose set up the Provisional Government of Free India in Singapore. Pakistan Resolution or Lahore Resolution was a formal political statement adopted by the Muslim League in which year, not to be confused with the Congress's Lahore session. So this is a separate thing. This happened in year 1940. The Lahore Resolution was written and prepared by Muhammad Zarafullah Khan and was presented by A.K. Fazlul Haq, the Prime Minister of Bengal at that time, and was a political statement, a formal political statement, adopted by the All India Muslim League on the occasion of its three-day general session in Lahore on 22nd to 24th of March 1940. An organization which holds securities like shares, debentures, bonds, government securities, mutual funds, units, etc., of investors in electronic form at the request of the investors is called a option B depository. So a depository is an institution, uh, a financial institution that is legally allowed to accept monetary deposits from consumers. So they can on request of the consumers or investors hold shares, ventures, etc. for them on their behalf. Which among the following is a correct sentence about non-bank financial companies, NFBC and a bank? So among the given options, option 2 is correct. Both banks and NFPC avail the deposit insurance facility. So N NFPC can accept demand deposits and only banks may avail the deposit insurance facility. So, uh, okay, uh, moving on, Muhammad Yunus and his founded Grameen Bank were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize of 2006 for their efforts to create economic and social development from below. What was the basic service of this bank? Correct answer is microfinance or microcredit. So the Norwegian Nobel Committee decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2006 and divided the amount into two equal parts, one for Muhammad Yunus and the second for Grameen Bank for their efforts to create economic and social development for, uh, from below. That is, they provide microfinancing or microcrediting so that the lowest of the lowest um, economic background people can have access to money to better their lives. Introduction of provincial autonomy is related to which of the following acts? Correct answer is the Government of India Act 1935. And this is the same act based on which uh, the uh, elections were held in order to uh, have representation of Indians in provincial levels. 
So salient features of the Government of India Act 1935 are abolition of provincial diarchy and introduction of diarchy only at the center, abolition of Indian Council and introduction of an advisory body in its place, provision for an all India federation with the British India territories and princely states. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.